It's Joan. It's uh, early in the morning, early Friday morning, and I was looking for a nice quiet place, and so I'm in my garage. <laughs> so just bear with me, please. Gosh, I hope you guys got to see, oops, the uh, Wednesday worship at home with the Zog family. It was very special, very special. I hope you, you can uh, get to check that out. And for tonight, uh, or this morning rather, um, I started noticing God doing something this week. It was really interesting. Um, on Wednesdays during the summer, uh, one of the libraries meets in the park, in Waterford Park, for a couple hours in the afternoon. So we took the, pool, the boys this past Wednesday, and um, there was nobody there. It was sweltering hot, and the, there was no library people, so there was a change in plans there. And then uh, on Thursday, during Pastor Matt's devotion on Thursday morning, it was about uh, trusting God amidst delays. And that was the story about Jairus losing his daughter um, because Jesus delayed in going to help. And then on Friday, Paula's message, which was fabulous, I, I know you enjoyed it, um, her message was about missing her connection because of a canceled flight. And I started seeing a theme here. And I'm like, you know, all of us are going to have some kind of delay, cancellation, change of plans every single day. Every day that happens. So there's a change. So, you know, how do we handle that as, as Christians? Like uh, Pastor Matt was touching on that. Jairus was, gosh, he was probably having the worst day of his life, losing his daughter. Paula was facing a miserable evening ahead. And then at the at the park, um, we're standing there with two little boys going, uh, what do we do now? So um, I, saw, I saw this theme developing. I thought, okay, this will be a great little thing to pray about. But let's pray that we can let go of our to-do list, our calendars, um, our, our idea of the way the day should go. Just let go of that and trust God, as Pastor Matt pointed out in, in his um, morning devotion. And we can enjoy what's before us, even though it can be, it, it is a little upsetting at first when things don't go right, but God is doing something. So pray that we look for it. What has God placed before us? Who has he placed before us? Um, it's going to be something we didn't expect, obviously, but it can be something beautiful. I mean, if God put it there, it can it can be beautiful. Jairus got to see a long-suffering woman get healed, and his daughter was brought back to life. What a day. Paula found joy in the middle of the night with new friends. She made new friends. Wow. And then us at the park, we made up a new game. We said, all right, we're only going to walk in the shade because <laughs> I didn't, it was really hot. And we, we said, all right, let's get from point A to point B and only walk in the shade. And we had to, you know, walk over tables and around the trees. And it was a lot of fun. We giggled the whole way. And, we, and we're still playing that game that we just made up. None of these blessings, and these are big blessings and little blessings in these three examples, and none of them would have happened if the day had gone as planned. So after you watch this video, please pause and pray for our Galilee family. Pray that we do trust God with every delay, every cancellation, every change in plans. Pray that we remember to look for his hand in it. What is he doing? He's doing something. Ask him to show us what he's doing. And then please share your blessings with us below because it's going to happen. It, it's going to happen today. I promise you. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, also, please remember to um, get that bulletin printed out or bring it home on Sunday and pray for those with the ongoing prayer needs and celebrate the marriages and pray for all the marriages that are listed there um, and all marriages in our church. Pray for um, the kid, the folks that are having birthdays. And there's there's a lot, there's a lot there that, that we can pray about for our church. All right, pray for our pastor. Don't forget him. Uh, he needs our prayers every day. 
I, I remember someone saying a long, I heard this a long time ago, if you want a new pastor, and we don't, but if you do, pray for the one you have. Okay, he um, he's an awesome, strong pastor, mm-hmm. and he needs prayer support. All right. So thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing the blessings that you list below. And uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Enjoy all those changes that are coming up because they're coming.